Hello all. In this video, we are going to see the demo of the entire checkout process from a customer's perspective. But before I start, let me show you which products I am offering as a bump, an upsell and a downsell. To do that, I will have to uh, go into the funnel section from my product dashboard screen. Okay, so let me click on that. All right, so now these are the three products that I'm going to offer as uh, the additional products. Okay, uh, upsell 23, bump 23 and downsell 23. Okay, all three of them are active. Now let's see what the customer sees when they are using our checkout page. Okay, so this is the main checkout page of your product, Card for Training. This also has a bump option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my order and then enter my details. I have the test mode enabled on my main product. So uh, I'll enter a dummy credit card number. and check the I agree to the terms and conditions box and then click on checkout. So it takes a few seconds, maybe 10 to 15 seconds to process the payment. Then once the payment is successful, it takes me to the upsell page, which is uh, nothing but upsell 23 like we saw in the funnel section. The customer now has two options. One is to purchase this product as well second is to decline this offer okay so if i upgrade this order what would happen is i'll be directly taken uh, to the uh, client area for now i'll show you exactly what happens when i decline this offer once the upsell offer is declined the customer would be redirected to the downsell page okay similar to the upsell page he'll again have two options either to purchase this product or to decline this offer okay so now if i upgrade this order it should bring me to a thank you page like this one and uh, then i'll have to click on continue and it will redirect me over to the client's uh, client area so this is the client area that i have okay also he would be receiving an email like this congratulations and thank you for buying card for training here are your access uh, details it'll, it'll mention my email address and also a link to set the password up so this is how the uh, checkout process of a checkout link created in card fog works so if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And I really do hope that this video uh, was helpful. And thank you so much for watching.